And then there's something that people call talent stacking, which is um, mm. um, those who use what they have will be given more. Those mm. who don't use will have the little they have taken away. That's what the Bible says. Mm. So the more you use your gifts, the more it stacks on top and it opens up doors for other things. What about <laughs> spiritual gifts? Spiritual gifts. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are those and why they come about? And why, how, and how do you identify if you have one? I mean, it's funny. So I'm, I'm growing up in church. We've met every type of person. Mm-hmm. Sure. We were kind of talking about this on Saturday. Like, you know, um, I don't know. I'm a bit more like, so, so there'll be things for me that like, even my spiritual gifts, it's not even something I talk about so much in the mm-hmm. sense of, mm-hmm. I know that God's given me the sermon. I've mm-hmm. had word of knowledge for people. Mm-hmm. I get word of wisdom. Mm-hmm. I get all of these things. Mm-hmm. But it's not something I talk about because when things are, those type of things. I don't know. Like, and, the, and the thing is, I've been kind of contradicted because the Bible says you should desire spiritual gifts, right? Yeah. You should desire prophecy and everything. But I just see so many people who are just so obsessed with themselves and what they want to do, just try and take these gifts or what they think of their gifts and just go crazy. And it always ends up in a downfall. Yeah. You know, like, you know? 